Guys, I don't want you to die of shock, but yes, I'm actually playing a game in the channel. Uh, I've done a video on this just basically saying what was going to be happening. I'll link it in the description, but I'll give you the short version here. A friend of mine introduced me to the randomizer mod for Dark Souls and said that he doesn't have a PC, he can't play it, and he wanted me to do it for him. And so I agreed, and he's also challenged me to do a, a strength build as well, because it's right outside my comfort zone, which I agreed to as well. So yeah, this is going to be fun! There is only one name I could name a character in a randomizer run. Guys, say hello to Randy! And Randy is a man, because I'm a manly man. And he's also going to be a bandit, because, uh, yeah, I've been strength build. Um, Master Key would just be cheating in a randomizer run, yeah, so I'm going to go with fire bombs. Uh, large upper body, because again, I'm a manly man. Far East Traveler, I think, because I just like that one the best. Wild, because I'm a wild manly man. And uh, gold, because I'm a handsome manly man. Yeah. Could you imagine if this key was randomised and, and you didn't get the key and your whole let's play, or your whole playthrough, sorry, was just you standing around in a cell? That would be fun. God, the, the controls feel weird. I've been playing Dark Souls 3 recently and th this feels kind of weird. I, d I can't really describe it. And my cat has just walked in front of the monitor. That's a great start. Now, I played Dark Souls quite a lot when it first came out, so I do know the game reasonably well. I don't know the the game well enough that I won't get lost, uh, especially when searching areas for progression items. Look at me pushing that door like a manly man. Oh yeah. I'm feeling good about this run already, and all I've done is push the door open. Yeah, so I will need your help if you see me running past an item, then scream out in the comments and say, George, you, you missed that, you idiot, go back and get it. So I think the drop from this guy will be randomised, so I'll, I might not get the, the demon hammer that you usually get for killing them. Um, yeah, so let's see what we got. Uh, a crystalline helm! And, uh, yeah, a humanity. Now I do believe that the, the starting weapons are always the same, yep. I've got the spider shield and my weapon just up the hall should be the battle axe. That's basically just to make sure that everybody's got a weapon going through this first part. Um, so that you can kill the, the, the demon if you don't have the fire bombs. Come back! I just want to axe you a question. <laughs> oh dear. I'll try and keep the jokes to a minimum because the, 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 there will be dad jokes. Um, yeah. Come back little guy. That, that was, that probably summed up my skills there. So I've had a bit of fashion change, I've stripped off so you can see my naked zombie body. And the reason for doing that, although this is going to be a strength build, um, just for this early part of the game I do want to be able to fast roll. Um, so I've stripped off some of my armour, but eventually when the build's nearing completion I need to remember to open this gate because sometimes I forget and it makes when coming back a bit more difficult. Um, what was I saying? I forgot what I was talking about now. Yeah, so eventually I will have heavy armour and I will have a big shield and, and all sort and I'll be forced to turtle which is completely out of my comfort zone. I don't like it, I usually do fast weapon dex character type things. But yeah, so eventually I will but I just want to be able to fast roll and run at my, my top speed. Just in the early part of the game just to make my way through it. But imagine how much harder this game would be if even the Estus flask placement was uh, randomised. I'd be screwed! I mean, I, I think I'm reasonably good at the game, um, but if I couldn't heal, I mean, imagine only having humanity to heal. That would be a waste, and I would not like that one bit. Uh, so I do know the, the start part of the game really well, and um, I know a certain path through the game really well. Because when you, hold on, that guy was getting a bit antsy there. Because when you play a game a lot, you you make your own kind of uh, path through the game, don't you? So I know that, I know that. But when I'm forced to fully explore areas to get progression items, uh, that's, that's, that's going to be painful, I think. 
I mean, I'm reasonably good at the game. I'm not that good at the game. I couldn't tell you where every single item drop is. So again, I'll need your help. If you see me running past an item, shout out in the comments and I'll need to go back for it. Whee! Usually you've got the demon to break your fall there, but I kill them. And I, I don't usually kill them because I usually do take the master key so I can uh, it's shortcut. And opening another door like a manly man. What a hero! I think this item down here is the, the only item in this kind of section, so... Ooh! A dragon Crest Shield and a Night Shield, that's uh, that's a good drop. Now this, uh, I will cut out the cutscenes because this game is really old now and we've all seen it, but this is one cutscene that I will keep in because it's just so epic! I mean, I mean the, the first time I saw it, I did jump when the, the... Yeah, when that happened and the crow came. It's just so cool. So my priority stats are going to be um, strength, endurance and vitality. Um, but since I don't have a weapon to aim for just now, because I don't know when I'm going to get weapons, uh, I'll prioritise endurance and vitality. So I'm going to have a look around Firelink Shrine and the cemetery for any items. Uh, usually the first thing I'll do is head to... Uh, the top of the, the Valley of the Drakes, where the undead uh, dragon is, and I would grab the, the items that he's guarding. But I can't get through there because I don't have the master key. So I'm already outside my comfort zone. N now I just I have to get scraps, basically. But I suppose there could be good scraps. I don't know what's going to drop, do I? So I think there's an item just um, over here, isn't there? Yay! See, I'm finding stuff! Oh, humanity galore. So yeah, I'll just show you while I'm here. It's usually up this way I go and you can go into Blight Town this way and stuff, but it's locked. And I think that, yeah, there's a couple items down here, isn't there? Because um, down here is usually where you get the S-Stock. And um, what a weapon that is. Um, this is the Morning Star. You usually get that in the graveyard, don't you? So that's not been switched about too much. Um, yeah, so this should be... Which is the stock usually up there? I'm not sure. This is a large ember. That's super handy. Super handy. Now I would usually run over there and get the firekeeper uh, soul, but um, I don't. I, I could run over there and it would just be a soul item. You know what? Let's go. I do have to say, as much as a pain in the arse this area is, uh, New Londo ruins is one of my favourite parts of the game, but again it's one where I usually rush through so I don't know where all the items are because I'm usually screaming about ghosts and, and running in fear. So this is usually a firekeeper soul, I don't know what it's, it is. I'm a bit disappointed that's not been randomised, does that mean they're all going to be in the same place? I'm hoping that's a coincidence but it would be a big coincidence wouldn't it? So yeah I'm just going to run through the shrine and the graveyard if I'm not getting stuck on stuff. Uh, I'm not going to be short of soul items, am I? That's for sure. So I think there's... Nope, that's the wrong way. See? I'm getting lost already. That's how rusty I am. Um, yeah, I think there's... Yeah, there's something around here, isn't there? Um, another soul item. And there's something up here. Oh, super handy. And there's an area down here with a bunch of chests. Now, I don't think the randomizer prioritizes loot, as in chest items will be more valuable than the, the random drops around the place. But, you never know. Uh, we have dragon scale and a five fire bombs. That's all right, isn't it? Dragon scale is largely useless because I won't be using dragon items. Uh, black fire bomb and pyromancy. I, won't, I don't think I'll be using pyromancy. Now that is an awesome drop. The the Grass Crest Shield uh, replenishes stamina. And the last chest has... if I can open it. Woo! Six-Eyed Helm of the Channelers. Fantastic! So I will be using mostly heavy armor throughout the Let's Play. Um, I'm sorry. That That's not an apology for using heavy armor. Was, yeah, yeah, you know, you saw. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm expecting to die to these skeletons. Paladin Helm and Silver Knight, fantastic. Uh, I'm expecting to die here, but I'm just going to lift as many items as I possibly can. Black Iron Armor. And, no, 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 no. 
I think there's some. Oh, oh. <laughs> did you see that? That was um, completely intentional blocking there. That was that was fantastic. Uh, dust crown ring. Uh, 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 I'm going to make it. I'm actually going to make it. I think there's a couple of items up the top end of the graveyard that we can get. But, um, no, 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 no. Oh, the skills. And, yeah, I don't even know why I turned back there. So I think there's an item just uh, around this kind of alcove here, I seem to remember. I'm getting loads of armour. I'm, I'm alright for armour. And I think there's a couple of items up the, the top end of the graveyard here. So we have gold coin, that's largely useless, I think. I can't even remember what you use that for. It's something to do with the the clerics, isn't it? I can't remember. And a sorcery. Oh well. Well, I'm just going to head back up to the shrine. I think that's everything in the graveyard. Uh, in the next episode, I'm going to head up to Blight Town and we'll start to make uh, progress. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, I'd ask you to do two things. First of all, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And second of all, tell your friends. It means a lot to me and it helps us channel grow. Guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.